in terms of level of production, this is insane. Bro, I told you, 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 don't, you don't mess with Sauron. Sauron, he's always been that dude. Sauron has always been that dude. Right off the bat, so basically, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe that this is the most expensive TV show ever made. So I don't think there's any TV show that has that has the kind of budget that this has. Shout out to Amazon Prime, man. Um, so right off the bat, in terms of level of production, this is insane. You see, what um, Game of Thrones had was quality of direction. That's what I'll give um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, I think it was a mixture of, was a mixture of production, but really just how well directed it was. So I still feel like if the best directed fantasy, in just terms of technical direction, it still goes to some episode of Game of Thrones, like Battle of, of the Bastards. Some of the stuff in Game of Thrones is some of the most stunning fantasy I've seen in terms of directing. But in terms of production, production design, um, CGI, use of CGI for a TV show. I mean, this, I mean, this is madness. Like, watch it, I'm like, you see, watch it, you're like, okay, you can see the money being spent. So just in terms purely of production, as much as I was like, this, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, this looks ridiculous. So, that's what the bad production is crazy. Prologue pop up to my boys. See, like I told you, like, shout out to Darth Vader. I know Vader's anything, but this is why it's my, 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 my boy Sauron. That shot of Sauron <laughs> with his thingy of Ox, that's going to be one of the hardest shots in any, that I've, I've ever seen in any, any fantasy. Just that shot of just Sauron, just there. Bro, I told you, 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 don't, you don't mess with Sauron. Sauron, he's always been that dude. Sauron has always been that dude. So I told you, like, Return of the King, these guys, they, 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 were, they were too pussy to face this guy at the end of Return of the King. Don't miss the Sauron, man. So two episodes, look. Because I was watching this, I was just thinking, you know, comparing it with House of Dragons. So look. <sighs> okay, let me try and break this down. Okay, let's, I'll, I'll do with the good and then the, the bad. The good, I wasn't bored. So production, crazy. Like, level of production design, stunning. In terms of the... Um, Elvin place the the dwarf um temple where the dwarfs live. I was like, this looks this is bloody amazing. Just the production designer has to be awarded. The production design is stupid on this. So production design is popping off. I it, I, I, I was on board. I'll, I'll admit there were in episodes of Game of Thrones I was bored. In the second episode of House of Dragon I was bored. Two episodes of this both one hour. So, like, the, both one-hour episodes, I was like, bro, I've not bought once. I was actually intrigued. And so, that's just good writing, good pacing that I was actually really drawn into pretty much every minute of both of the hours. So, not bought at all. Um, and I think that it leaves you... So, with the episode three to come, and I was like, okay, let's... I want to ask you what's going to happen. Okay, okay, I'm in. All right, I'm in. I'm in. All right, I'm in. I'm, you know, I know what the elves are about. The half foots are about. I'll speak with those guys. And I know what's the, 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 the dwarves, elves. So everything, boom, 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 boom. Like it's, it's been constructed well from a writing point of view. From a writing point of view, it's been constructed well to a point. So the bad. Okay, let me see. How do I? Your lead. This is fantasy. And in if and we've all look, bro, the game I've played the most, probably but the one that any other game is Skyrim. So we understand that when we're running with that sword and shield, the lead is very important because this is our hero or heroine. This is our hero or heroine. So it is very important that our hero or heroine has that kind of charisma. Let's stick with this world, Lord of the Rings. I'll keep it a stack. The protagonist of Lord of the Rings. It wasn't really Frodo. It was Frodo to an extent, but it wasn't really Frodo. It wasn't really Aragorn. It was Gandalf. <laughs> Your boy Ian McKellen, it was Gandalf. And 
Ian McKellen's performance as Gandalf in three films I just thought was freaking amazing. So, and also, shout out to Sean Astin, you know, um, who was Samwise Gamji. He was so peps, really. Character, that's the, the key thing there. What's made The Lord of the Rings so amazing? Beyond just like the production design and everything, were the characters. And I think specifically, because I was never a fan of Frodo or Aragorn, but was specifically um, Elrond, was, you know, um, Hugo, Hugo even said what's up, but it was specifically Gandalf and your boy Samwise Gamgee. Those are the guys that were really holding through. I'll be real with you. The most interesting character in this for me is the dwarf. Actually, no, both of the dwarfs, like um, him and his wife, I feel those are actually the most interesting characters. Like, oh, actually, yeah, these characters seem the most alive and the most interesting. So the lead. I'm, I'm not feeling the lead. She's not a bad actress. As in Galadriel, she's not a bad actress. But if that's your lead, she doesn't have the kind of charisma or the gravitas. Because she doesn't have the kind of charisma or character that Samwise had. She doesn't have the kind of gravitas or character that Gandalf had. So if that is your lead, because it, what made Lord of the Rings so amazing is that even if Frodo seemed very petty and annoying, Aragorn was extremely boring. Gandalf was so amazing and Ian McKellen was just so outstanding performance wise that he, he held it together him and Samwise held it together I mean because I just think I just find the lead boring I, I'm sorry I just find her boring you know um she's just she's just not very engaged she's not, not, she's not, she's not very interesting you know so yeah if that's your lead uh, I'm not really feeling that the elf especially the elf that the guy with the um Basically, like the Legolas character with the bow and arrow. Seems, I mean, he's doing what Legolas did. He's he's more he's more stoic. So I think he's fulfilling that role of just being stoic. Hence, why his character works fine, and I'm sure his character is going to meet up with the lead. But but your lead has to have a bit more Salini, just a bit more Salini with it. Um. Also, as well, I, I didn't like that when I think when at the beginning when she fights the is it the troll hunter like in the snowy place. Bro, like this is Lord of the Rings, man. This this isn't like some kind of 2022 Gucci thing. Why did you have to flip your sword around after the thing was done? And also, that is a big ass monster. How are you able to do flips and just destroy the monster? Like, come on, man. Like, like, give me a bit of dodge, just a little bit of dodge in this whole thing. Um, but look, I mean, beyond that, the only, yeah, I, I think yeah, those are just those are just those are my issues. The, the good and the bad. Overall, overall, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued, you know. I'm intrigued, you know. You see, for me, I'm one of those guys. Who, you know, I didn't watch any any of the Hobbit films. I just never did, you know. And I think that look, you can't compare this to those, to those three films. Like those were three sledgehammers. Fellowship, two thousand, Return of the King. So I'm not even thinking of it comparing there. So I'm just taking this as its own, man. And I think, look, as a fantasy guy, as a huge okay, <laughs> all right, okay, let me address right now. Lenny Henry, no, doesn't work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Lenny Henry doesn't work. It doesn't work. If you don't know who he is, you, you do your googles. Lenny Henry, Lenny Henry. I'm I'm talking to you. Lenny Henry doesn't work. I'm sorry. It looks stupid. It looks stupid. But that's just me. And. Um, but um yeah man um overall yeah look overall i'm intrigued also, i actually want to just know what other people think i am intrigued you see look this this should even be, be compared to house of dragon house of dragon is something see house of dragon is more story based it's more plot based it's much more story based this is see this is classic fantasy i would i would class house of dragon as a fantasy kind of like political thriller intrigue drama like we see fantasy drama is what i think house of dragon is this is pure fantasy like this is just pure 100 percent fantasy like good versus evil let's write so they are different genres so they shouldn't be compared so look i'm intrigued so let me tell me what you guys think in the comments below man are you feeling rings of power or do you think it's rings of bricks man how are you guys feeling about this man but yeah man um you have to get your lead rights man your lead has to pop off man Look, I want Gandalf up. Is Gandalf around? Could Gandalf be around during this time? 